Picture this. In the middle of a seemingly conventional campaign, a volcanic eruption reshapes the atmosphere of the party's world, sending ash into the upper atmosphere that robs the day of much of its light and warmth. And while the people of this world find way to adapt using magic and proto-science, the loss of daylight allows a slumbering evil to finally take form, a form that consumes the very dreams of this place and replaces them with otherworldly nightmares. The players quickly discover that their usual array of powers are not enough to slay this new foe outright, and so our heroes find themselves dividing their efforts. They must make new allies to help buy time and starve this monster of its favored resource, all the while seeking, possibly in vain, any sign of its origin and a means to bottle it back into the earth. But what kind of DM would present the players with an adventure of such bleak possibilities? This kind. H.P. Lovecraft is an author that needs little introduction to most D&D players, and certainly no introduction to the fans of horror. His works influenced many of the monsters in the aberration category, particularly the iconic Illithid Mind Flayers. And if his works have slowly crept into the public domain, many publishers have taken advantage of the genre to produce a wide range of RPGs and tabletop games. And while it would be easy to slather a campaign in tentacles, slimes, ichor, cultists, and an over-frequent use of the word eldritch, it takes a little more to make a game Lovecraftian. A feeling of futility needs to permeate such a game. The players should believe that their efforts are only buying time rather than scoring victories. I'd even question whether or not such a campaign should have clear-cut win conditions for the players. Sorting real gains from the false hopes should be a regular source of debate. In some cases, living to an age that allows them to pass the torch on to new adventurers may end up being the best they can really do. And if a conventional game is slowing down, hucking a meteorite or volcanic eruption into the mix is a great way to send the setting spiraling in a new direction. Roll the dice and see if this is something that works out for your games. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you next time.